Hi, this is Storytelling with author Amy Shannon, and I, of course, am Amy Shannon. Um, the uh, story I want to talk about today is called Unwritten Life. It's the first book that I ever wrote. Um, prior to that, I was always writing short stories or poetry, um, but this is one that, for some reason, I had this feeling, so I sat down at my computer and I started writing, and the story came out. Um, over the span of a month, um, and I had never written a story that long before. Um, and this is one that has inspired me to create over 65 volumes in this saga. Um, the saga used to be called the Star Springs Saga um, because it's based on a fictional town, Star Springs, in um, Arizona, something that I made up. Um, and it started just revolving around a few characters and it slowly grew and um, basically kind of surrounded different residents of the town. Some are related, some aren't, some become related, um, things like that. And generations are created um, over the span of series. Um, the stories have crime and drama, mystery, um, raising people from the dead. It's uh, it's not a utopian or dystopian story. It's just, you know, if it was ever possible to do it medically, you can come back from the dead. So um, that's where it starts. It starts with a character named Alex Garrison. And Alex is kind of trying to create a new life for herself. She changed her name, her hair color, um, and she's trying to escape her past, but it catches up with her. And she um, doesn't realize it at first, but she had a stalker. Um, she used to live in Pennsylvania, and after some issues, she decided to kind of take the long way to Arizona. Um, so she, uh, here it is. The story starts when she's working at a job in Tar Springs at Solutions Computer Systems. And she is, you know, connected to different people um, there as friends or co-workers. And then there's um, one of her closest friends shows up out of the blue and, um, you know, she tries to reconnect with him. She also has a couple of love interests. Um, one for me was unexpected and it just kind of grew really great. I really enjoyed writing for them, um, ups and downs and things like that. And she has a new boss and he's kind of gives her the creeps, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I like the story, I like the characters. When I look back, it's like watching reruns of shows that you haven't seen in a long time and you think of how young the characters are and how they've grown over the many different volumes that I've written. Um, I also want to take a moment and read a passage out of Unwritten Life and um, it starts off that Alex has just returned home from a date with um, a man named Jim, um, Jim O'Rourke, and he um, he lives two hours away, so she offers him a spot on her sofa. Um, Jim headed to the bathroom and started up the shower. Alex set up the sofa for Jim to sleep on, and suddenly there was a banging on the door. Alex looked down the hall, and Jim was still in the bathroom. She opened the door carefully, and there stood a man wearing a mask. Who are you, and what do you want? I want you, Alexis. I came all the way for you, and I can't hold it in anymore. Go away. She tried to close the door on him, but he pushed his way in and grabbed her. Let go of me, she yelled. Not until you remember. He kissed her hard, so hard that his teeth cut her lip and it started to bleed. Get off me. I don't know who you are or what you want. I have you, and I'm not going to let you go again. I'll no longer wait for you. He pulled her to him again so tight, she tried to fight him off, but he was too strong. Please don't hurt me, she cried. I'd never hurt you. He rubbed his hand over her head repeatedly, each time pressing harder. You're hurting me. He licked her face. You taste so good. He shoved his hand down her shirt. 
She stomped on his foot and let go of her at a reflex. She tried to run down the hall, but he grabbed her and brought her back to the living room. He punched her in the face, and then he threw her on the floor and then stomped his foot on her chest to hold her in place. He fumbled with his belt as he tried to remove his pants. Alex screamed, No, get away from me. I'm going to have you one way or another, he said softly as he whipped his belt off. He whipped it around harder and harder until the belt slashed her face. Oh, God, Alex cried out in pain as she grabbed her face. She tried to push his foot off her, but she couldn't. Jim came out of the bathroom when he heard Alex scream. He ran up behind the man and jumped on his back, knocking him to the floor. He started hitting him in the head, and then they struggled all over the floor. Jim, Alex yelled. She tried to crawl over to him, but she couldn't move. Jim, no. Jim looked over at Alex, and the man hit Jim in the face. He got up and quickly ran out the door. Jim ran to Alex's side. Are you okay? He started wiping the blood off her face with his towel. She clung to him tightly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. It's all my fault. You should probably just leave. Alex, I'm not leaving you. It's okay. I'm so glad I was here. Are you okay? She looked up at his face as tears streamed down her cheek. It's okay? You don't hate me? Why would I hate you? She cried harder. Angel, it's okay to let people help you. Now, are you all right? I am now. You saved me. Thank God you were here. She finally was able to let herself go. Jim held her tightly. I'm glad I was here, he whispered. We need to call the police. No, Alex said. No, police. I need to take care of this myself. Alex, you can't. You need to call the police. You're hurt pretty bad. Please let me. She tried to get up, but she was in so much pain. I can barely move, Jim. I'm calling the police. No arguments, Jim said sternly. Okay, she said weakly. Jim grabbed the phone and called 911. When he got off the phone, he carried her to the sofa and held her. You're safe now. He, he kissed her forehead. And that really is the beginning of a relationship between Alex and Jim. And it's kind of that relationship is the foundation for the rest of the characters and the stories that are to come. So I hope you enjoyed listening to me tell a story and reading a little bit about Alex and Jim. Unwritten Life is available um, for purchase on Kindle or paperback. Um, on Amazon.com, and it is also available for different digital formats on Smashwords. Just um, Google Unwritten Life by author Amy Shannon, and you should be able to find it. Um, so thank you, and I hope you listen to more stories, and I look forward to having you join me again. Thank you.